First 11 reactions tonight to a special counsel decision not to charge President Joe Biden with a crime, despite evidence that he knowingly kept classified documents after he left office. That special counsel, Robert Hur, a former DOJ official appointed by President Donald Trump, did call President Biden a, quote, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. During a news conference tonight, the president defended his memory and reiterated his cooperation in the investigation in contrast to the former president's documents case. I did not throw up any roadblocks. I sought no delays. In fact, I was so determined to give the special counsel what he needed, I went forward with a five-hour in-person, five-hour in-person interview over two days. Good evening. I'm Felicia Rodriguez. I'm Todd McDermott. Thank you for joining us here at 11 o'clock. Tonight we're hearing from political experts about the special counsel decision and his speculation in the report about how President Biden would have defended himself if charges had been brought. Our Steve King joining us in the studio with the key takeaways. Felicia Todd, professor of political science at Florida Atlantic University, Kevin Wagner, says the Justice Department's conclusion could galvanize former President Trump's base who feel Trump is not being treated fairly by the justice system. However, Wagner does not think this development changes the course of the election much. For President Biden, Wagner thinks the investigation into Biden's handling of classified materials and the Justice Department's outcome will not be a focus of the president's campaign moving forward. I think in the, in the short term, it's probably not a big story for his campaign, uh, but, uh, but it is one of those, those issues that sort of uh, can galvanize the opposition uh, and suggest, you know, to some voters that, uh, that were already inclined not to support the president, you know, another reason not to. But when it comes to the Justice Department's report's ability to actually move the needle in the election. I think much of uh, the former president's base is already galvanized for any number of reasons. So I, I, I don't suspect it'll change the dynamic of this campaign all that much. Wagner also says the findings in the report highlight a possible issue for Biden in his campaign. The report states of the 81-year-old Biden that at a possible trial, he would, quote, likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. What's clear in a lot of the polling is there is a uh, concern among voters on in both parties about the president's age and anything that sort of reflects or reinforces questions about his age and ability to handle the office, I think, would be trouble for his campaign. In a social media post earlier this evening, former President Trump called the Justice Department's actions a, quote, two-tiered system of justice. And this upcoming Monday, former President Trump's lawyers will be in Fort Pierce for a hearing related to his alleged mishandling of classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. That hearing will focus on a law that protects classified information from being disclosed in court. Reporting live in the studio, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.